Well, welcome to another episode of our Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. This is Doran Aldana, the mortgage marketing coach, coming at you with another kick ass episode. And today we are with the one and only Coach Pete Bekaisen. And we talk about why most loan officers resist recruiting realtors and how to fix it, how to overcome that call reluctance, how to overcome that energetic resistance where you just feel repulsed at the mere thought of reaching out to realtors. We're going to have you get clarity like you never have before, why you feel that inner resistance, why it feels like such a chore, why it feels like something, you know, it's like the last thing you want to do because energetically and emotionally, it just feels like a yuck emotion for you. We're going to transform that today, not because of any shift in circumstance, but a shift in perspective. And it's going to allow you to be able to see it in a new light such that you're more inspired, you're more fired up than ever before, not only just to you know energetically grow your business, but to be able to do it smarter, better, faster, easier with more fun and fulfillment. That's what we're going to talk about today. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Coach Pete Fakaisen is an absolute rock star in the industry, just short of a billion, that's with a B, just short of a billion dollars in funded volume over uh, a decade and a half in the game, more or less. Definitely someone that is a shining star in the industry that uh, the who's who in the industry looks to as someone worthy of emulation in terms of success in general and success with real estate partners in particular. So without further ado, Coach Pete, what's shaking, my man? Welcome aboard. Hey, man, what's going on? Not much, just another uh, sunny day here on the East Coast. Another getting day in paradise, right? Getting ready for a fun <laughs> weekend and, uh, yeah, in the midst of a uh, swarm of loans. So Yes, refi all, boom right now. It's, all it's good. football season. It's refi yep. boom season, and it's time to make hay, baby. Now, as you know, we had uh, a little bit, it seems like every time I do these live podcasts, we have some kind of techno glitch or hitch, and I'm learning all the different ways to mess up starting on time doing these. Uh, this time, it's I got to reboot my computer before I start. Otherwise, who knows what kind of techno glitch and hitch I'm going to encounter. So here we are. Literally, I uh, launched this podcast. I didn't even have time to queue uh, Pete up with what we're going to be talking about or uh you know, any preliminary conversation was like, we got to get this bad boy going or we're going to lose the, the link and we're going to have to reschedule this bad boy all over again. So he's like totally flying by the seat of his pants along with me. Uh, he literally just discovered what we're going to be talking about uh, as you did. So you're oh, welcome, good. Coach Pete. I'm here for you, brother. Sounds good. <laughs> love, love those. Love those. Yeah, absolutely. Spontaneity at its finest. So uh, let's talk about this whole you know, universal, seemingly universal experience loan officers have around just the gag reflex and reaching out to realtors. Tell me what are the, you know, top one, two or three reasons why loan officers seem to resist the idea of going after realtors? What are some of the things that they hate most about going after realtors? And why should they feel like they're not alone? Like this is a common plight and just unpack a little bit because you've been on the front lines of capitalism in the real world as a loan officer for quite some time. You know better than most what they're going through. Why do most loan officers resist this? Well, I think a lot of it is rejection and fear of being rejected. I yeah. Think it's, um, I think people in general just don't want to pick up the phone and call people that they might not have, you know, superior comfort with. Mm. Um, and I think a lot of that really, you know, Doran start, starts with yourself and, you know, you've got to be comfortable in what you're talking about. You've got to be comfortable in the way that you're going to present. And, you know, if you don't have that and you're not doing that kind of mindset training to put yourself in the, you know, correct light that, you know, Hey, I'm going to walk on water when it comes to mortgage. Um, but I don't really walk on water when it comes to relationships and it's something that you have to master and something that you have to practice. That's you get that comfort zone where I've met many loan officers that just, they don't want to deal with real estate agents. They just want to, they can talk on the phone, but they can't get in person. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and they don't want to call for business. They just want to organize the business. Right. So there's a difference and it's really, 
Um, so I'd say the first, you know, like we just discussed, you know, the first thing would be a comfort zone and calling someone. So call reluctance is, you know, uh, fear of being rejected. So the second thing I would say would be is they don't have much to talk about. And, and I think, you know, when it comes to that, you really have to have an agenda. You have to have your bullets laid out. This is the call. This is what I'm going to set up. This is what I'm going to try to get out of this person on the other line, meaning, you know, whether I'm calling for information on how I can do more business with them or I'm calling to see what I can do to help them. Um, but you have to be you have to be organized. Right. You can't just call and say, hey, it's Pete for from Luxury Mortgage. How you doing? And just wait for that. How are they going to react? Oh, you want that person to react. Hey, Pete, what's going on? How you doing, man? And that's because you need to try to develop a personal relationship. So mm -hmm. you have those bullets and they know that this call isn't just, you know, the Monday call where I'm going to sit down and call 40 realtors and, you know, be lame. And it's actually a call with, I'm actually going to do like a call and actually have, you know, a direct correspondence and, and list and what I actually want to tell people. Um, so I'd say be prepared for your calls. And then the third thing is, uh, you know, again, relationships. I mean, if you have a reason to call, you have a good relationship, that person shouldn't be dreading your call. There are other coaching systems that I know for a fact, real estate agents, they literally look on Monday morning between eight and 10 and this person calls them every week or the real or the loan officer. They come by the office every day on their same route because they're told to go out and get in front of people uninvited. To me, that's awful. Yeah. You know, and, and, and having worked in a real estate office with these scabs that walk in um, and they just, you know, they walk in and, oh, I've, I've got this and oh, and then the realtor takes the bag of stuff they just had and just drops it in the trash can and walks away because there's no value. When you go and you, when, when you're going to meet with a realtor, you need to have an appointment. You need to have a purpose. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're in business, they're in business. And in busy times, no one, no one just has time to just give away. Right. And especially if you have nothing to say. So, right. you know, so I'd say those are the top, top three things. Kind of reminds me of the saying that, it, you know, that uh, going after realtors is kind of like sex. If you don't like it, you're probably doing it wrong. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, if you're not enjoying the experience, it might be a symptom that what you're doing and how you're doing it ain't exactly the most expedient pathway to the desired outcome. I mean, I was coaching our seven figure lender Academy clients at our live mastermind event in Vancouver just a few days ago. And one of the clients told me, he's like, you know, one of the things that holds me back from reaching out to realtors and has me basically sitting in the parking lot with the emergency brake on idling in first gear or in neutral in this area of my business is I feel like based on experience and a multitude of evidences and references that going after realtors requires me to kiss a bunch of frogs in order to have success. And it's just going to yeah. be a lot of trouble and struggle and pain and suffering. And who knows how many frogs I'm going to kiss or have to kiss before I actually find the prince or the princess. And I think that's a common plight for many where by virtue of them doing it the hard way, they feel like that's the way it is when it comes to recruiting realtors. There's only one way to recruit, real, re, recruit realtors and it's called suffering. Right? It's called pain. Yeah. It's called rejection. It's called annoyance. It's called giving up your dignity. It's called groveling. It's called kissing frogs. And the paradigm shift that I had with this gentleman at this live mastermind event in beautiful Vancouver for Seven Figure Lender Academy Mastermind was simply this. What if the reason why you weren't enjoying it is not because it's hard, but because you're doing it the hard way. What if you're using a gardening trowel or a shovel instead of an excavator? And that's why it feels, feels so freaking hard to you, right? So tell us about how a loan officer, and by the way, because we started late, I literally have 10 minutes before we got to wrap this up. So this is going to be short and punchy and just like right between yeah, the man. eyes. Just, just hit them straight with the pure unadulterated knowledge bombs of awesome here. Yep. in a condensed fashion. Tell us about how a loan officer, based on the systems we bring to the table 
and the smart way that we roll out for loan officers who work with us, tell uh, everyone listening, watching how they might give up the gardening trowel or the shovel and flip the switch on the excavator and get way better results, way faster, way easier without even breaking a sweat. Give us maybe the top three ways that you found just, it's like a hot knife through fricking butter. It changes everything. Well, first of all, you know, every loan officer out there is doing, you know, you are doing the same thing. So you have to kind of put in your effort to come up with your unique selling proposition. Like what's special about you and or your company that you do? And it ain't great rates and great service no. or, or great programs for the most part. Because no. most of these programs anyone can offer. No, but it's it's how can you make them better? How can you help them make more money? Right. And a lot of a, a lot of what that comes down to is training. And you have to train not only yourself with your mindset, like in the morning, um, you know, all of our students, including myself, I start my morning in a fashion where I am, you know, uberly, I'm, I'm overly confident when I get out of the shower and I'm ready to rip my day, right? And that's just because I've trained my myself that I'm not going to let, no one's going to bring me down. If an agent doesn't like me, I'm going to move on to the next one. You don't want to cry over spilled milk, but you only want to work with people also that are going to see who you are and who the personality you, you know, that fits you. You know, I, I don't work with every realtor out there. I don't try to. I try to work with people that we can form a partnership with, that people that have the same interests as me a lot of the time, people that want to make money, people that want to be successful. Because when I start talking in the way that I present myself, it's with a lot of confidence. And that's what people want. I am in one of the biggest competing buyer markets in the country, in the United States. And if we don't take it to the next level with confidence for our clients. When we call real estate agents on the listing side and say, hey, I know you just got my offer, Doran, and uh, the Smiths are really excited about this house. Let me sit here and tell you a little bit about the pre-approval. We sell pre-approvals with the personality out here in uh, the Boston area, because if we don't, we're just another piece of paper. So the way that I'm kind of expelling myself to you and saying, hey, you know, We've reviewed all their income assets. These guys are great. We're going to close quick. I don't, I don't falter with my voice. I don't, I come across super confident and we're going to get the job done. I don't know half these people from a hole in the wall. So, right. you know, so that, so that confidence piece is huge. So, but you're only going to get that if you can achieve the proper mindset and that's working through your mindset with coach Ashley. That's working through, you know, learning from your peers and part of our systems, working with you and I. Um, so mindset's a huge deal. Second thing is, you know, you really got to have focus. And that focus is your schedule. You've got to create these relationships by going and bringing something nice to these people, right? Bring something that's going to bring, and when I say something nice, something that's going to help them make money. Take something off their plate. Um, for instance, one of the systems that we um you know, that we teach out there is the use of a um, virtual assistant. All that knowledge can be shared. We want you to use it so you can train your real estate agents to use it. Oh, you've got that really large project or you've got, you just had a hundred people at that open house and you're doing it the old way and everyone's signing in with pen and paper. Would you like to use my use, uh, virtual assistant and have them put that in a nice Excel sheet for you? And then, by the way, we also have a marketing system where we can plug and play that in and help you reach out to all those borrowers that came in, those prospects, those hot leads, those people looking to buy a house. And we can send them a text message, email, and cell phone drop right into their message for, for peanuts. And you teach these realtors how to do these things a different way. That is the value that these people seek, right? Mm -hmm. So. You know, and it's not complicated and it's not something that, you know, you need to even spend hundreds of hours or, you know, multiple thousands of dollars on these systems. They're inexpensive. They're really easy to put in place. But again, you have to have the mindset and the schedule to be able to execute on it. Right. Right now is an enormous, enormous flow of business here in the U.S. Enormous with refinancing. Phones are ringing off the hook, right? 
if you are not scheduled right now, you don't get anything done. And that schedule starts with your morning workout, your mindset work, planning out your day, planning out your week. I've spent most of the last half hour um, coming out of a meeting and then planning my whole week for next week, setting up everybody for success, including myself. Plan the work, work the plan. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. to recap a few key themes in case you guys missed it. Number one, nothing works until you work and nothing works until your mindset work is dialed in because your results and the quality of your results will rarely exceed the quality of your self-image and your self-confidence and your self-worth and what you believe you're capable and worthy of. And so if you want to dial up your life, you got to dial up how you see yourself and how you see your world and how you see your bank account. And everything is created twice, once in your mind and once in reality. But if you don't dial up your mindset, you're just going to regurgitate the same old crap you've been producing. And that's how you can have 10, 20, 30 years in this game, regurgitating the same stuff over and over again and staying in the rut of stagnation year after year after year. Because as Jim Rohn said, you got to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Yeah. Nothing changes until you change. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And to that mindset, Doran, real quick, to that mindset is you all know as loan officers you lost a deal. Someone beat you out on pricing. I used to beat my head against the wall. I actually heard from a client that she had the loan officer uh, direct messaging on Instagram to her. I can't believe you left me. Blah, blah, blah. That, that loan officer spent hours beating his head against the wall because he lost one deal. Right. If you spent that same amount of energy and you have my mindset, hey, that's your loss. Have a good day. That's your loss. Right. Um, you know, the, it just changes, you know, so my Absolutely. mindset is I move on, but it used to yeah. be, you know, um, um, it's the end of the world. I lost one client. So, yeah, it's not a setback. It's a setup. It's not happening, happening to you. It's happening for you. But then on top of that, you're actually coming with something of value. You got a stack of awesome and you you're a merchant of certainty coming with confidence in the value you bring to the table and you're not talking fluff you're talking rent, tangible tools systems technologies campaigns that actually help put more zeros and commas in that realtor partner's bank account and so you're coming to the table to give not to get you're not a parasite loan officer you're a partner you're a true strategic partner and on top of that one of the things that differentiates us from all the other so-called mortgage coaches out there is they're gonna get you cold calling the same realtors every Monday or every Thursday or whatever. No unique value proposition. You're initiating the conversation, not us. We have a system that gets these people hot for what you got, pre-tenderized, pre-sold, predisposed to say yes to a meeting before you even talk to them. They're the one that's initiating the, hey, yeah, let's talk, not you. Do you think that might be a little different in terms of shifting the energy and having you feel like it's a get to talk to them instead of a have to. It's a get to meet with them instead of a have to. You better believe it. So we shift, we shift the script so that they need you more than you need them. We shift the energy so that they're chasing you, you're not chasing them. We shift the power position in your hand so you're in control, not them. They're being interviewed by you. You're interviewing them not the other way around. It changes the game entirely. If you guys would like to learn about how to flip the script so that they need you more than you need them, so you can start working with the excavator instead of the gardening trowel, so you can start working smarter, not harder, so you can actually feel pumped and motivated and excited and confident and certain when you're recruiting in the power position where you hold the cookie, not them, I invite you guys to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call. There are a few qualifiers. One, you need to be 100% commission, no, no, uh, you know, salary with 20% BIPs. That's not the client we work with. We work with clients who have 80%, like 80 BIPs or higher in their comp plan. So they're actually getting paid when we help you close more deals. Um, second, we need to be able to have uh, a minimum commitment from you that you want to increase your income by at least 100K or more. We're not looking for people who just want to add an extra 10, 20, 30K per year to their annual income. We're looking for people who want to transform their ability to provide for their families and live an epic life of abundance and prosperity, not just itty bitty little improvements and incremental changes. And lastly, you're open to exploring ways to work smarter, not harder. If that's you and you'd like to learn the secret sauce on how we can help you multiply your income, 
and to be able to do that using the shortest path to the cash, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call by going to mortgagemarketingcoach.com, easy for me to say, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. We'll lift up the hood on your business. We'll look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at, where you want to be. If we can help you create a breakthrough, by all means, we will show you how to do that. If we can't, for whatever reason, we will be the first people to advise you to pass on our services. Either way, though, you're going to leave with massive clarity like you've never had before. Chances are we'll have some fun and it'll be very worthwhile for you. So that being said, go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply for a complimentary breakthrough call. Coach Pete, thanks for hanging with me, brother. I know it was short and sweet, but uh, no guys, so thanks for the time today and everyone listening and uh, watching. Thanks for hanging with me. This was Coach Pete and uh, yours truly, Doran Aldana, your host for the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast coming at you live. So go forth now, take massive action, bring massive positive energy to that, energy to that action and learn to upgrade from the gardening trowel to the excavator. No more messing around doing it the hard way. There are no brownie points at the bank for doing it the hard way. All right, guys, step it up, level it up, and let's make things happen. Make it a great day. Peace.